Quilts and I'm here to do a mail call. It's actually the 8th of March, so I am doing this one early because I received a large package in the mail. And then later this month on mail call day, I'm actually going to be out of town. And I wanted to get this video up because it's a very generous gift. This gift came from Barbara Ian, and I'm not going to say her whole name just in case she doesn't want it in the video. But she's from Indiana. She contacted me via Messenger on Facebook and she was gifted a lot of quilting fabrics and so she offered to send me some. I volunteered to pay the postage for her sending them to me and I just want to say how much I appreciate this very generous gift. I was actually in the process of looking for prizes for various things that I'm working with and Barbara, I really appreciate your very generous donation to me. This is just unheard of, and I am just very thrilled. She also sent me a card as well. So thank you card. And she's actually thanking me for sharing my knowledge on YouTube. It has helped me so much. Please take what you like and can use... Please take what you like and can use out of this box and share the rest. Much love, Barbara Ann. And I just want to say that I really, 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 really appreciate this because you really did not have to do this. And I am just overwhelmed and just awed with your generosity. So uh, just know that I really, really appreciate it. So I am going to tilt the camera down and we're going to go through this very large box I have here of stuff that came from Barbara. She actually put it all into a large priority mailbox and it was crammed. There was not an inch of space in this box. So let me just go ahead and get started. So first thing out, it's, it appears that all of the packaging is sorted by fat quarters like they were perhaps purchased in these particular sets. This set is looking like K facet or some style of Westminster fabrics. And so they are all fat quarters. And so this is six that is in this particular bag. And if they have any information identifying what they are, I will let you know. But a lot of these fabrics are very old. Like I said, she got it gifted to her from someone and from an estate. And so these are no longer available. But these came from Mimu Club. M-I-M-U Club. And I had never heard of this website before. I'm looking at the word Japan on here as well, so I have no idea if these fabrics were ordered from Japan or not, but that's what's in the packaging. And this one's pretty interesting, so it does look like these may be some oriental cloths here. So they look like they're all the same, just a different background. And I just saw a little cat in there as I'm looking at this. And this one has a bunny. Very interesting. This is the same pattern, just different colorway. And then this same one. So that was six fabrics in that. This one states that it came from Nancy Notions. Doesn't have any paperwork in here to know what year, so I'm sure, like I said, a lot of these fabrics are old fabrics, so you won't be able to find them. But you start out with this lovely green, have this floral print with a geometric background piecing going through it. And then that same fabric is used here by itself, and this print, so very pretty. And I like that they are in grouping so far. 
Very nice. So far, no paperwork on the next bag. This is six fabrics in here. Got this very pretty purple, kind of a on point plaid design. Rainbow colors. And then this is the same solid print. And then here's a rainbow fabric. Same print in orange and then some floral print. This is going to be a long video because it's a lot of items in this box. So this is another one. Has six fat quarters. So she was apparently ordering fat quarter from somebody. And I'm assuming that a lot of these probably came from Nancy Notions. But I'll just flip through the fabrics to show you. So this one also has some buttons in the package as well. They look like they color coordinate with what's going on here. So I don't know what the purpose of these grouping was, but she has matching buttons pulled. But isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. Love these fabrics. This next one is filled with novelty prints. So we have watermelon, have some fashionistas, I don't know what this is but for some reason it's kind of got some sort of African vibe to it although it's probably not African. And there is nothing on the salvage, but that is really pretty. It starts to remind me of some of the African drums. This one has angels with hearts. And then we also got parakeets over here. Very nice. And then we've got some cowgirls. Very pretty. And they've even got names. We've got Kay and Jolene and Nell, Rosa, Ruby. Jesse, and then we also have some money fabric very nice next bag look like it has batiks in it so I'll just show it from this side we've got some brown here and then blue this is kind of like a yellow orange some more blue here. This is a rust color with some blue. And a multi print. Okay, so I've got a few bags ready to go here. And first up is another fat quarter bundle. And I think they've so far all been fat quarter bundles. So, yes, this pretty stripe. And then a mustardy brown color some green some more mustard yellow oh these pots are pretty it's um mexican style some brayos and some floral print so very pretty again So I'm thinking that a lot of these prints must have come from like Keepsake Quilting or Nancy's Notions Fabric Clubs for the most part. And then I find one that has a little template in it for some miniature tumblers called Thimble Quilt. It has the pattern in here and the pattern is from ComeQuiltWithMe.com. And then she shows you on the back 
how she made it. And then also in this bag was some fabrics. We got some more paperwork. So this is the Fab Fab Club. Here's a hint of autumn. So this is from the Fab Fab Club. It says there's a hint of autumn in the air, so it seems appropriate to send you an autumn-inspired collection of fabrics. And she was saying that this was a bonus for this month, the free quilt kit. But yeah, so this is what she sent with the little tumbler template. This one looks Christmas inspired. Has a Christmas plaid and a floral. Even has a little blue in it. Another diagonal plaid. Snowflakes. Some foliage. This is striped fabric. And this one is from the Keepsake Quilting Scrap Bag of the Month, Christmas in July. So it has some candy canes. So this is quite a few in this bag. Some angels. Some ribbons. Isn't that just pretty? And then felt like there was something else in here. It uh, Just information on how to launder your fabrics. Next up, she sent me a lot of African fabric. She knew that I was interested in African fabrics from my last video that uh, where Diane sent me fabrics and so she made sure that she sent me the ones that were African so these I will be keeping for myself it's very nice it has a nice quality to it as well and these are half yard pieces Just beautiful. Now this one has a different feel to it. And it says guaranteed block Dutch Holland. Hollandese. So it says guaranteed block Dutch Hollandies. Very nice. It's a wax print is what they're calling it. Very nice. Y'all, my sinuses are acting up, so please forgive me with the sniffles. I blew my nose before I started, but it didn't make a difference. And this is a nice print as well. Very pretty. There are some more African themed prints here. This one comes from St. Teresa Textile.com uh, called Amazing African. And again, this was so long ago that I'm not sure if you're going to be able to find these pieces. This receipt here said that this was bought in 2007. Got some more African themed fabric prints here. Again, so that is just beautiful. And here's another one of those wax prints. Just gorgeous. And some of these I don't have. I got more of your traditional African prints, but I don't have these particular patterns. So, another one. I 
And then the last one I will just flip over this way. But just beautiful. So now I need to make something with all of the African print fabrics that I'm receiving here. This one isn't an African theme package, but you could make maybe a landscape that was jungle themed to resemble Africa or use some of the African prints with this. So these all came in a set together. Oh, the giraffes are just gorgeous. It even had a giraffe in here in the outline. Elephants there too. So we'll see what else we come get with this. But isn't that just gorgeous? Zebra prints. And here is one that's mixed animals. And then you've got some neutrals to tone them down. Very pretty. So this next one is another keepsake quilting scrap bag of the month. It's called African Adventure. Just beautiful fabrics again. These look like they're quarter yards instead of fat quarters. That's the piece of paper to tell you how to launder your materials. Isn't that just beautiful? Just gorgeous. More animal prints. Look like they've been screen printed, stamped over the top. Very nice. Got some mask in there. Here's some elephants. More of that screen print look. Very nice. Just beautiful fabrics. Next bag is some prints, just beautiful in color. So we'll just start with, we'll start with this one. Oh, that's pretty, just gorgeous. Look at that, just beautiful. And this one is Alexander Henry Fabrics. I love his fabrics, or the company's fabrics. I'm assuming it's a guy. <laughs> but I love that company. I make a lot of my um, stack and whack quilts from their materials. So these are the next set of fat quarters. And then the last one here. And this one did have some paperwork with it that says it came from the Mimu Club. bright set here from St. Teresa's Textile. This company is out of Ohio. These fabrics were purchased see these fabrics were purchased March 1st 2007 So, and I will just lay them back. And I think I've seen this somewhere, but I didn't purchase it. But I haven't seen this stripe. This is beautiful too. It's 
one here and you've got another stripe and the final fabric is this checkerboard very nice the checkerboard says that it's free spirits so I think I have three more after this one so we're getting to the end so this one has some novelty prints again got some kid giraffe stamp looking things elephants different animals and then again you've got your animals kind of hidden hidden in this particular print i think that's very cool again they're all animals but they're kind of hidden animals you got to look for them now this one i don't see any animals <laughs> But the color matches very well. And again, that giraffe print. And then the hidden animals again. Got a bag with some blacks. Very pretty. So we've got a purple solid. And then we've got a black with polka dots. A lime green then a black with squares or nested squares and then a yellow and then some black with circles very pretty next up look like it's going to be a bag of stripes this is by st. Teresa's textiles again don't have a date on this one I will just lift them up one by one to show you. This one has the Savage Edge Ocean View Paradise Reef. And it's by Wilmington Prince. So very pretty. I'm going to have to go check out the website and see what's going on on the website because I never heard of these companies. And this is by Robert Kaufman Prince. And we're now down to our last bag. So we've got some road trip type fabric. I don't have the salvage on it so I don't know what it is but let me open it up a little bit more but it's some sort of route 66 print I don't know what this is <laughs> let me turn it this way so you can look at it as well but it looked like it could be skulls so I don't know what that would have to do with the package itself. So maybe this is just one of those generic packages of Fat Quarters. We've got peppers. Bikini sets. <laughs> this will make great I Spy stuff. And bowling. We have that. I don't know if I ever told you guys that I'm in the Bowling Hall of Fame. This is one of the Alexander Henry fabrics. And my husband also was in there numerous times. So, yeah, we were avid bowlers, but I quit bowling to enjoy my quilting more. I bowled a 300 game, and my husband has bowled numerous 300 games, 299s, and 298s. So he's in there numerous times. So that's it for this haul. As I said, Barbara, you have been very generous and just know that I really appreciate it with everything in my heart. Just know that I really, really appreciate you sharing your gift with me and that I will also share it with some other quilters as well. So I would like to thank everybody for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.